The military agreement with the Philippines was at stake, and the old man on the base was nervous. It wasn't just murder, it was politics. Joe, the local press is screaming for blood, mine! And I've been informed that a Marine has been implicated. Who's this sorry son of a bitch, anyway? McKee, sir. Anthony J. Corporal. He has busted down from three stripes last year. How much shit are we in for, Joe? Is the man guilty? A little early to say. I, I don't think he is, sir. Well, you better find a defense for him, mister, and do it in a hurry, or I'm going to have to put him on the spit for these people, and I don't want to have to do that. McKee's capable of killing somebody. But not like that, sir. What's he doing here? Mr. Buck made the first call this evening, sir. Without his help, it could have been a hell of a lot worse. Oh, I'm sure. Well, good evening, Captain. I'm no longer a captain, sir. That's my point, exactly. I'll have to ask you to leave us, Buck. Excuse me, sir. But I was thinking about asking him to give us a hand in this matter. The man just reminded me that he quit. And that was, what, several weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken. After you pushed me out. When I halted the Belfardo investigation, if that's what you mean. Exactly what I mean, when I wouldn't go along with your whitewash. Ah, oh, come on, Buck. We both know that national security interests override any claim you might have on personal vengeance. And I understand I don't like the bastard either. But Belfardo's position in government is very sensitive. So sensitive, in fact, it makes him untouchable, at least by us. I can finish this investigation on my own. Oh, no, you can't, mister. Your involvement in this is over as of right now. Haynes, get him off the base. And you, you give me that much shit, mister, and I'll have the Filipinos pull your visa so fast you'll be treading water in the middle of the Pacific. Is that understood? That's all. Damn it, you just don't know when to keep it zipped, do you, Andy? I never did like that candy ass anyway. Yeah? Well, you should have come and talked to me. How in the hell do you think I felt when you quit? And for what? To get even? Whatever it takes, Joe. I suppose you want a ride home. I figure that's at least a grateful nation could bestow. Hey, Kong Zhu. Got your little present. <laughs> Let's call for drink. We got new stuff from Thailand. What's happening, Kung Fu? Well, now, what do we have here? Your latest shaving victim. Ah, Major, you sober? That's a temporary condition, I'm sure. Undercover, huh? What went down to Silver Eagle Bar? You calling Marker, Andy? Oh, no, no, no. I've got more pesos in my pocket than a big horse can shit, Kung Fu. How much? Ancient Avenger. Now, what in the hell is that supposed to mean? Zorro? Got no more for you. Not today, Major. Hey, forget it, Joe. Come on, let's go. Oh, Andy. I give you one for free. I hear dead men, all Balfardo. Maybe gang war between Balfardo and 28K. Thank you, my friend. You know, you ask for my help, and you walk around like a goddamn naval intelligence man. Damn it, Andy, we don't have time to play hold the mini with these people. Joe, how many tours have you done in the PI? Now, what in the hell is that supposed to mean? You know these people, and I don't? You know shit about these people. To you, this place is one big whorehouse. Look out, you're gonna get run over by a fucking horse cart there. Fucking crazy ass drivers, they'll run you down if you're not careful. You know, you're not exactly the first person I'd ask to help me, buddy. But I asked you, so you got the helm. You called the shot, Slick. My hunch is 28K. Local muscle for one of the Hong Kong triads. You mean that mark on their forehead? You trying to tell me it's triad stuff? Could be. Belfort has been moving on for a couple of months. This bunch is not so accessible. You gotta watch the kind of noise you make this time. Let me send it to Smoke Signals. Victim had a mark on his forehead. For sure it was Chinese, but was it triad? 
whatever the hell it was, it was going too far. Fascinating. You found this on the foreheads of the victims? That's right. I was hoping you might know what it is. If I did, it wouldn't be fascinating. I just got back from the north. We found an identical emblem at the dig. Is there a connection? Your guess is as good as mine. Hello, Sharon. Good morning, Professor. You know each other? No, I thought I knew him. I saw your interview with Bill Fardo. Nice work. Thank you. Uh, speaking of the senator, he's invited me to his son's wedding reception this afternoon. I need an escort. How about it? I suppose I should go. We're distantly related, but he's the black ship in the family. Sorry, Sharon. Give me a couple of days on this, Andy. I'll get you an answer. Thank you, Professor. Bill Fardo wedding, huh? Aren't you the social giant? So what happened? I thought things were going pretty good between us, then all of a sudden you disappear for a month. Why did you return my phone calls? Hey, something came up. I'm not a very safe guy to be around right now. That's a cop-out. Call it what you want, it's the truth. Would you do me a favor? I know you don't want to, but would you take me to the party? <laughs> Bell Fardos? Sure. What time are you going to pick me up? Chopping block. Now you better start remembering. I can't. I can't. So, Doc, what's the verdict? Amnesia? I guess it's possible. 